I learned about this guy here, Dan Wooten from following Johnny and Amber. The thing is, Dan wrote some bad things about Johnny and the Sun. False allegations as a matter of fact. But now, Dan's got allegations out against him. To make things worse, Dan got fired from the Mail Online. To make things even worse, Dan got suspended by GB News, probably permanent. To make things even worse, Dan's being investigated by the police. To be specific, detectives and the Met Police in Britain. Now here's the thing. It seems like Dan's kind of hitting back a little and threatening people with legal suits if they don't take down their stories and things like that about him. We already know he threatened the Byline Times and apparently, I guess they're ready to go at it or something and it seems like they've got some evidence. They've got some reason to write what they're writing. But, per this here from the Press Gazette, Guardian and Mirror take down Dan Wooten's story after legal warning for October 3rd, 2023. So the Guardian and the Mirror aren't exactly really wanting to, you know, get into it with Dan. I guess they'd rather just kind of stay silent than keep pushing for what Byline Times thinks is the truth and what some other people think is the truth. Now, don't forget, these are not just blind allegations with zero evidence. Byline Times has some receipts, digital trails, and things like that. So it's not quite the same as, say, Marilyn Manson, where there's nothing definitive there. The Guardian, Mirror, various other reach sites, and NewsQuest The National have all removed stories after a legal warning made by a lawyer acting for Dan Wooten. The Guardian story was published at 5.25 p.m. last night, and other sites appear to have referenced that article. The articles have since been taken down. Not sure exactly which one those were, but we can imagine something about the allegations against Dan. Links for each of the news stories that have been removed now return an error code alongside their original URLs, and the publishers have yet to explain why they decided to withdraw the story. Well, Dan's legal warning might have something to do with it. Press Gazette understands that a lawyer acting for Wooten has warned publishers about possible legal action. Yes, like I said, that's probably why they took it down. The outcome of a court case could be aggravated and or exemplary damages and in order to pay both sides legal fees, the lawyer warned. The high potential cost of defending legal actions was underlined when the Mail on Sunday faced a £1.5 million cost bill after Meghan Markle successfully sued it following the publication of a letter to her father. Well, I mean, you know, that's a totally different thing there. That was them printing something. Apparently, they didn't have the right to print. It's completely different then printing these allegations about Dan and some of the things that have come out, especially about passwords and some witness statements. Wooten was suspended by GB News and sacked as a columnist at Mail Online last week after Lawrence Fox launched a sexist on-air tirade against the journalist Ava Evans on his program. Maybe it was sexist. I don't know. I'm not going to get into it so much, but I think... If a woman could say it about a man also, it's not quite sexist. I think it's only sexist if it's something a man says about a woman that can't also be said about him. Or else you're just saying something about another person. But alright, let's keep going. I digress. The Sun is currently investigating what's been described by MP Caroline Dineage as allegations involving payments for sexual material that date back to Wooten's time as showbiz editor of the paper. So they get into some details here, stuff we knew, little regurgitated. They go way back from the beginning when Dan said he made some errors of judgment in the past and when he said he was the target of a smear campaign. So my best guess is common sense says if they were threatened legally, they took down the articles because they don't want to have that legal battle. And to be honest, there was a lot of traction for Dan in the beginning. A month ago, two months ago, but it kind of leveled out a little bit. There's interest here and there, but it's not like it was when it first hit the scene. So maybe their views declined on it, their traction declined, and they were like, you know what, this might not be worth it. That's a possibility. But I'm not sure exactly 
what Dan would sue over because they're reporting on the byline times and they're reporting on evidence they claim to have. They're also reporting on what people told them third party. They're not, say, making up things like some other people did in the somewhat recent past. I won't mention any Flappy Fish names. Let me know what you think down below. If you're not subscribed here, consider it. If you don't, I'll be sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.